हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द चेंज ऑफ ऑर्डर ऑफ इवैल्यूएशन ऑफ डबल इंटीग्रल्स एंड एग्जांपल्स ऑन इट दिस वीडियो इज कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ माय प्रीवियस वीडियो लिंक ऑफ दैट वीडियो इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स इन दैट वीडियो वी सॉ टाइप वन एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ चेंज ऑफ ऑर्डर वेर वी डू नॉट हैव टू स्प्लिट द रीजन ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन In this video, I will be discussing type two examples where we have to split the region of integration for changing order of double integrations. So let us see examples. In this example, we are asked to change the order of integration and evaluate this double integration of dy dx over the inside integral limits two minus x to two plus x and outside integral limits zero to five. Let's see its solution. In step one, we have to rectify the equations of the curves which bounds the region of integration, and we have to draw them. Here, in this case, the region of integration is bounded by the curves y is equal to two minus x, y is equal to two plus x, x is equal to zero, and x is equal to five. Now let's draw these curves. This is y is equal to two plus x. This is y is equal to two minus x curve. This is x is equal to five curve, and this is x is equal to zero. The area bounded by these curve is this one. Now, in step two, to change the order of integration, that is to make it to dx dy, we have to first throw arrows parallel to x-axis from left to right. and we have to see if they cuts only one curve each time while they getting into the region and while getting out of the region so what we see here some of these arrows are getting into the region by crossing this curve y is equal to 2 plus x and some of these arrows are getting into the region by crossing y is equal to 2 minus x curve so we say no these arrows cross two curves while entering into the region namely y is equal to 2 plus x and y is equal to 2 minus x so we have to split the region in parts such that each part will fulfill this criteria so we divide this region into these two regions let us enlarge this region these are their vertices these are the equations of the corresponding curve we call this upper region as r1 and this one as r2 since we have split up the region of integration into two the integral i will also get split into two integrals we call them as i1 and i2 limits of integral i1 can be obtained from region r1 and limits of i2 can be obtained from region r2 so let us focus on region r1 time being we forget about region r2 now to find out limits of integral i1 we throw arrows parallel to x axis from left to right on region r1 and we check which curve these arrows crosses to enter into the region we say that they crosses y is equal to 2 minus x curve to enter into the region r1 so x is equal to y minus 2 is the lower limit of the inside integral of i1 and while exiting the region these arrows crosses x is equal to 5 curve so x is equal to 5 curve or x is equal to 5 is the upper limit of the inside integral of i1 so inside integral of i1 will have limit y minus 2 to 5 now we throw arrows parallel to y axis from bottom to top for this region r1 and we see which boundary point these arrows touches first so this is the boundary line that touches first on this boundary line y is equal to 2 so y is equal to 2 is the lower limit of outside integral of i1 similarly while exiting this region check which is the last boundary point these arrows touches we see that this is the last boundary point these arrows touches over here y is 7 so y is equal to 7 is the upper limit of outside integral of i1 so outside integral of i1 will have limit from 2 to 7 now we focus on region r2 to find out limits for integral i2 for that we throw arrows parallel to x axis from left to right on r2 
and we check which curve these arrows crosses to enter into the region R2. We see that they crosses curve y is equal to 2 minus x. Therefore, x is equal to 2 minus y is the lower limit of the inside integral of I2. Then while leaving the region R2, they crosses curve x is equal to 5. So x is equal to 5 is the upper limit of inside integral of I2. So I2's inside integral will have limits 2 minus y to 5. Now for outside integral limits, we throw arrows parallel to y axis from bottom to top. We see that these arrows will touch this boundary point first. Here y is equal to minus 3. So y is equal to minus 3 is the lower limit of the outside integral of I2. And while leaving the region, they crosses this line. And here y is equal to 2 is the boundary point. So y is equal to 2 is the upper limit of the outside integral of I2. So I2's outside integral will have limit minus 3 to 2. Now we combine these results. So we get I is equal to double integral of dx dy over the limit y minus 2 to 5 and 2 to 7 plus double integral of dx dy over the limit 2 minus y to 5 and minus 3 to 2. This is change in order of integration of the given integral. Now after this, we have to evaluate these integrals. I'm leaving this part for the students. I hope guys you understood how to change the order of integration in case of split of the region. Now we go for next example. Here we are asked to change the order of integration and evaluate double integration of dy dx over the inside integral limits x square to x plus 2 and outside integral limits minus 1 to 2. Let's see its solution. In first step, we have to rectify the equation of curves which bounds the region of integration and we have to draw them. In this case, the region of integration is bounded by the curves y is equal to x square, y is equal to x plus 2, x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to 2. Now let's draw these curves. This is y is equal to x square curve. This is y is equal to x plus 2 line. This is x is equal to minus 1 line. And this is x is equal to 2 line. These four curves bounds this region of integration. Now in step 2, to change the order of integration, that is to make it to dx dy, we first throw arrows parallel to x axis from left to right. And then we will see if they cuts only one curve each type when they get into the region and get out of the region of integration. So what we see when we throw arrows parallel to x axis from left to right, these arrows are getting into the region by crossing this blue curve as well as this red curve. So we say, no, these arrows crosses two curves while entering the region, namely y is equal to x plus two curve and y is equal to x square. So we have to split the region of integration into parts such that each part will fulfill this criteria. So we divide it into these two parts. We call this as R1 and this as R2. Region 1 and region 2. Now let us enlarge these regions. Since we have split up the region of integration, the given integral i will also get split into two integrals. Let us say i is equal to i1 plus i2. Limits for integral i1 can be obtained from region 1 and limits for i2 can be obtained from region 2. So let us focus on first region 1. Now let us throw arrows parallel to x axis on region 1 from left to right. We see that these arrows will enter into the region R1 by crossing curve y is equal to x plus 2. So x is equal to y minus 2 will be the lower limit of inside integral of i1. Also these arrows get out of the region of integration r1 by crossing curve y is equal to x square. That is x is equal to plus minus root y. But we are on the right side of the y axis. So x is equal to root y is the equation of this curve. So x is equal to root y is the upper limit of the inside integral of i1. 
So I1's inside integral will have limits y minus 2 to root y. Now let us find outside integral limits for I1. For that we throw arrows parallel to y axis from bottom to top. We see that these arrows will get into the region by crossing curve y is equal to 1. So here y coordinate of the boundary point of this curve is y is equal to 1. So this is lower limit of the outside integral of i1 and now while leaving the region this is the last boundary point here y coordinate is 4. So 4 is the upper limit of outside integral of i1. So i1's limit will be like this. Now let us focus on r2. Now to find out inside integral limits for i2 we throw arrows parallel to x axis from left to right through region r2. When we do so these arrows will get into the region r2 by crossing this curve called as y is equal to x square. So here x will be plus minus root y and on the left side of the y axis x will be minus root y and on the right side of the y axis x will be plus root y. So x is equal to minus root y is the lower limit of the inside integral of i2 and upper limit will be x is equal to plus root y. Now to find out outside integral limits we throw arrows parallel to y axis from bottom to top. We see that these arrows touches this boundary point first. Here y coordinate is 0. So y is equal to 0 is lower limit of the outside integral and these arrows crosses curve y is equal to 1 while leaving the region r2 and here y coordinate is 1. So y is equal to 1 is upper limit of the outside integral of i2. So i2 has outside integral like this. Now we combine these two results to get integral i. So integral i will be double integral of dx dy over the limit y minus 2 to root y and 1 to 4 plus double integral of dx dy from minus root y to plus root y and from 0 to 1. I hope you understood how we have changed the order of integration of this integral by splitting the region of integration into two parts. Now after this we have to evaluate these two integrals. I am leaving this part for students. Guys please write me in comment box whether you are able to solve these examples or not. I will be coming with more such interesting videos. Till then keep watching. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.